Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. First, let's double tap the screen to import a WAV file from iTunes. Ta-da! If you're not sure how to get audio into your iTunes share folder, leave a comment and I'll be happy to walk you through each step. Alright, so there's our WAV file. I suggest when you import loops, make sure they're tight. But if not, you can trim like this. Tap and hold for a moment and move it to shorten or extend. You can move the whole file like this and move the reposition marker like this. Now watch this carefully because this is cool. Double tap ruler and turn snap off to on. The ruler bar snapped into place. Check it out again in slow motion. And so will the file like this. Notice the throw method I use, which makes things snappy. <laughs> now let's turn the loop function on. It also snaps around. Now let's cut this waveform. Double tap the audio file and select split. So you know, it cut the audio file right in the middle. That's why I suggested tight loops. You can keep cutting in half like this. Tap tap. Let's match the tempo to the loop. And to delete the same, tap, tap, delete, tap, tap. Now let's select the loop function. Watch it snap into place. Snap. Let's drag the length of the loop to the file. And let's check it out. Now let's check out this other cool feature. Watch the pointer toggle from the beginning of the file to the top of the track, pressing the stop button. Oh yeah. I'm running the tape only click here to make sure everything's in time. Check out how with two fingers I can stretch the WAV file. And then bring the wave to the pointer to make an edit. Or bring the pointer to where you want to edit. Bam. Lastly, let's take a look here where you can create a new session. Load, save, rename, duplicate, delete, and mix down your work. Okay guys, I hope you found this useful. See you next video.